Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square A, B, C, D. And this square has uh, two segments inside it that intersect at uh, 90 degrees at point B. And the length of uh, E, G is 13 units. And the length of this uh, uh, F, G is 9 units. And we are required to find the area of the square. Okay, so first thing that I want you to notice is that uh, this segment uh, DF is uh, below this, uh, I mean the point F of this uh, segment DF is below this uh, point B by a certain distance. So that is BF. And same with uh, this segment uh, EC and this point E or the Let's call this E as the first point is at the right of uh, point A by a certain distance, which is the same as uh, BF. So uh, with that, we can say that the angle formed, uh, if we focus on a uh, triangle FCD, the angle formed between the side of the square and this length is uh, the same. So if this is alpha, then this is also alpha okay okay so next is we notice that uh, for a triangle ebc this is a 90 degree angle from at b because this is from the square the side of the square at ebc this triangle okay so since uh, this uh side of the square let's call this as s this is actually a, a bc one leg of this uh, ebc okay and if we focus on fcd uh, this triangle so one side is also uh, s uh, one leg of this uh, right triangle so this is s Okay, so let us call this, uh, the two segments that are equal, A and BF as, uh, let's call this as X, and this BF as X. And so this distance will be uh, this FC, for uh, if you focus on FCD, this will be uh, S uh, minus X. And same with EB. Since AE is X, this uh, distance is X. Then this distance EB would be S minus X. Okay, so next is I want you to notice that uh, on the two triangles, uh, E, B, C, and this triangle uh, uh, G, I mean F, C, D. Okay, so one leg for ABC is this length, S minus X, and the other is S, the length of the side of the square. So we have S and the S minus X. Okay, and same with the FCD. So FCD, they have uh, two sides. Uh, two legs i mean so one is a uh, s at dc so this at dc and this at uh, fc s minus x so s and s minus x so notice that they both have in between them the 90 degree angle okay so those the 90 degree angle so in between them so this 90 Okay, so 90. So by side angle side congruence theorem, we can say that these two triangles are actually congruent. So if that is the case, that the, these two triangles are congruent, then we can say that the hypotenuse, the corresponding hypotenuse of for, for these uh, two triangles are actually congruent. So we can say that EC is equal to FD.
Okay, so since EC is equal to FB, we can represent this length, these two lengths with the single uh, length. So we can let this uh, hypotenuse as, uh, let's call this as Y. So if the total length is Y, then for EC, this length GC will be a uh, uh, y minus uh, 13 and for fd the this length gd will be y minus 9 okay so next is we compare these two triangles this triangle fcg and this triangle gcd Okay, so notice that the uh, one angle for FCG is alpha, then the other should be the complement. So that is beta. Because uh, this is 90. Because this triangle, I mean this angle beside it is 990. So the straight, this is a straight line. So this is 90 for this uh, angle. Okay, so, and next is uh, for a triangle GCD, if one angle is already alpha, then the other angle should be the complement. So, we selected the, the, rep the representation for the complement of alpha to be beta. So, this is beta. And next is we notice that the triangle FGC is similar to GCD because they have the same set of uh, congruent angles. Okay, three of the congruent, I uh, three three of the angles are actually congruent. Okay, so comparing a uh, FCGC and GCD, the two triangles, uh, with respect to angle alpha, and using the ratio opposite over adjacent. So we have for FGC, we have. 9 over uh, y minus 13 is equal to for gcd we have y minus 13 all over uh, y minus 9 and if we cross multiply we have uh, uh, 9 times y minus 9 is equal to y minus 13 squared so we have uh, 9y minus 81 is equal to y squared minus 26y plus 169. So let us combine the like terms. So we have y squared minus 26y minus uh, 9y and 116, 169 plus 81 gives us a 250. So 169 plus 81 is equal to 0. So we have y squared minus 35y plus 250 is equal to 0. And we are to solve this resulting quadratic equation. Okay, so now that we have this. Uh, quadratic equation so which is a uh, y square minus 35 y plus 250 is equal to zero so we have to think of factors of 250 that will uh, have this algebraic sum of negative 35 so that is uh, y minus uh, uh, phi 25 times 10 so y minus uh, 25 and the uh, y minus 10 is equal to 0 okay so we have two solutions y minus 25 is equal to 0 and uh, y minus 10 is equal to 0 so one is uh, y is equal to 25 and the other is uh, y 
is equal to 10. Okay, so if we use uh, y is equal to 25, then y minus 9 gives us uh, 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. And y minus 13 gives us uh, 12. And if we use y is equal to 10, y minus 9 gives us 1. And the other gives us y minus uh, 13 gives us a negative 3. So since uh, there is no negative distance, uh, this y minus 13, since this become neg became negative, so this answer for y is equal to 10 is invalid. And therefore, we will only accept this y is equal to 25. Okay, so now for the final step, since we have already the two values of uh, y minus 9 and y minus 13. These are the legs of the triangle at GCD. So we have area is equal to simply the S square, which is the side of the square. And it is squared. So, but the, the square of the side of the square is equal to the hypotenuse of the right triangle GCD. So, by using Pythagorean theorem, we have uh, y minus 9 squared plus uh, y minus 13 squared. So, area is equal to, since y over y minus 9 is 16, so we can replace this with 16 squared. And uh, plus y minus 13 is 12. Okay. So we simplify this area is equal to uh, 256 plus 144. So area is equal to 400 square units. And that is our answer. For our first method. Okay, so now for the second method, since we have proved that uh, the length of uh, FD is equal to the length of EC uh, from the first method. So if we label this as X and this as Y, since the two segments are equal, so uh, FD is equal to EC. So FD is equal to uh, Y plus 9. And uh, EC is equal to X plus 13. Okay, so if we simplify, we have uh, X minus Y is equal to na negative 13. 9 minus 13. Or is equal to negative 4. It's equal to X minus Y. Or y minus x is equal to 4. And also from the first method, we have proved that this triangle is uh, similar to this triangle. Okay. So we have here uh, 9 over x over x is equal to uh, x over y. So oh, that is the opposite over adjacent with respect to this angle because these two angles are uh, similar alpha and alpha. So 9y is equal to x squared if you cross multiply. And y will be equal to uh, x squared over 9. If you put this 9 to the denominator of the uh, right hand side, so y is equal to x squared over 9. Okay, so using the first equation y minus x is equal to 4, and substituting uh, 
y is equal to x square over 9. So replacing this y with the x square over 9 minus x is equal to 4. So we can simply multiply this whole equation by 9 to eliminate the 9 in the denominator of the first term. So we have a x squared minus 9x is equal to uh, 36. So we have x squared minus 9x minus 36 is equal to 0. So, thinking of factors of uh, 36, that will have an algebraic sum of uh, negative 9. So, that will be na uh, that will be x uh, minus 12 and uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so, we have actually two solutions. Uh, x minus 12 is equal to 0 and the other one is uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to negative 3 and the other is x is equal to 12 okay so this negative 3 is already invalid because this will result in a negative distance for GC. So we'll discard this. So we'll only have this uh, x is equal to 12. And if x is equal to 12, then we have y is equal to uh, 12 square over uh, 9. And y is equal to 144 over 9. And that will be a uh, uh, y is equal to 12 times uh, 12 over uh, 9. So we can cancel the 3 here. So this becomes uh, 12 divided by 3 is 4. And this is 4. So this cancels out. So we have y is equal to 16. Okay, so now for the final step since we already have this uh, x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 16. So, area is simply a square with a value of s. And that is the square of the hypotenuse. So, that is equal to x square plus y square. So, area is equal to 12 square plus 16 square. Area is equal to 144 plus 256. So this gives us the area of 400 square units. And that is our answer for the second method. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.